My first question for you both is, um, what attracted you both to this project? Um, you know, I found this project while I was promoting another film I produced called Miracles from Heaven. And when I met Joyce Smith and John Smith and Pastor Jason Noble and heard firsthand their story, uh, I was just inspired by it. I mean, truly, it says in the medical record, patient dead, mother prayed, patient came back to life. And when Joyce articulated that on the program, uh, when I met her, I was like, I've got to do it. And I went to them after the uh, program was over. I said, this is who I am. This is, uh, I'm a producer and I want to help tell your story. And they were on board. And that was just about three years ago. And here we are. That is incredible. Amazing. How about yourself? Well, I knew nothing about the story until I got the script, which had been written at this time. Right. And I read the script and I couldn't believe the story. So I went online and looked at some of the footage, the newsreels about it, and realized that this actually was an amazing miracle. And it just moved me. I identified with the story and I uh, just wanted to do it. It truly is. I mean, I know I can speak for myself where I was a mess watching this. <laughs> you know? Plus, knowing it's a true story, it yeah. just hits yeah. to your core. The story really has just so much heart to it. Yeah. Um, so one, I guess, congratulations. Oh, thank, thank you. you. And then two, could you please describe the plot of the film for us? John Smith is a 14-year-old boy. He goes out into a frozen lake. He's playing around with his friends. The sun begins to come out. Uh, the ice begins to crack. He and his friends uh, fall through the ice. His two friends are able to escape. John Smith drowns. He dies. They find him after 15 minutes being trapped under the ice with no oxygen. Uh, they, they miraculously rescue him. They take him to the emergency room. They re try to revive him for another 45 minutes. They cannot do it. They go to his mother. Uh, they say, we've done all we can do. Now's the time to say goodbye to your son. She goes into the emergency room. Her son is there laying on the table, uh, not connected to a breathing machine, not on life support. He's dead. She goes over to his feet and says, Holy Spirit, bring back my son. The moment she prays, John Smith, her son, gets his heartbeat back. And that's the beginning of a miraculous recovery, and that's the breakthrough story. You know, I've seen the film and just talking about it just gives me chills. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So I guess... You know, for someone who isn't religious, who's coming to see the film, what would you say to them to encourage them to, to come see it in theaters? Come it's back? a true story. Yeah. It's a great drama. Uh, it has fantastic characters, a great plot. Mm -hmm. um, all the things I think that a, that a good drama should have. And it's engrossing. And I think the fact that it's real, it's a true story and inspiring as, adds to it. Absolutely. And you know, what's amazing is we've had the opportunity to screen this film through our, our grassroots campaign, um, almost from the moment that Roxanne had a director's cut. So we're talking about screening the film for eight months now. And a lot of people who, you know, would are not of faith have seen this film. And what's amazing is they, you know, I just got a text from somebody who's a close friend of mine, uh, who she would probably call herself agnostic. And she saw the film cry through the whole thing and said the film was amazing, it moved her. And I think that's the, that's the thing that's so powerful about this. It's a true story. Mm -hmm. And the story itself is moving. The story, uh, Joyce didn't go in and say, you know, I'm a faith-based mother, I'm gonna pray a faith-based prayer. <laughs> <laughs> she just went in there and said, I'm a mom, my son is dead. If I don't do something, then he's gonna be gone forever. Mm -hmm. And I think that idea of her love is what is transformative. And I think it's also what will bring people who may not be believers to this movie and allow them to enjoy it.